Hi, this is the fourth video on the topic of combustion chamber. I believe that if you have not gone through the previous video, try to view the previous video first before you go into this particular video. In this particular video, we will focus on the types of combustion chamber and in terms of the different types of combustion chamber, there are three main types available for use in the gas turbine engines. This include multiple chamber, turbo annular chamber and annular chamber. I will explain to you the three types of combustion chamber. This is a typical early retail combustion chamber. Imagine there are many combustion chamber installed in one particular gas turbine engine. So the explanation of how combustion process works are already being explained in the previous videos. So this type of combustion chamber is used on centrifugal compressor. Normally it is for centrifugal compressor and earlier types of axial compressor, but very difficult to see it is in operation anymore. So the chambers are disposed around the engine, which I will show you in figure 47 later on and compressor delivery air is directed by ducts to pass into the individual chambers. In the multiple combustion chamber, normally the individual can of combustion chamber are being placed in the circumferential of the engine and it is interconnected to each other. So each chamber has an inner flame tube around which there is an air casing. So the air will pass through the flame tube snout and also between the tube and the outer casing. The separate flame tubes are all interconnected. So this allows each tube to operate at the same pressure. So you want, you want the same pressure and allows combustion to propagate around the flame tubes during engine starting. The second type of combustion chamber is turbo annular combustion chamber. So this type of combustion chamber bridges the evolution gap between the multiple as well as the annular types. A number of flame tubes are fitted inside a common air casing. The airflow is similar to that already described in the multiple type combustion chamber and I will show you in figure 8 how does it look like. So this arrangement combines the ease to overhaul and testing of the multiple system with the compactness of the annular system. So this is the picture of a typical turbo annular combustion chamber. It is a combination of the can type okay, and annular. So there is can as well as annular eh, in the circumferential of the uh, engine itself. Now, the third type of combustion chamber is annular type. So this type of combustion chamber consists of a single flame tube. There's no longer separated individual combustion chamber can and it is arranged in completely annular form, which is contained in an inner and outer casing as shown in figure 49. The airflow through the flame tube is similar to that already described in the previous two combustion chamber and the chamber being open at the front to the compressor and at the rear to the turbine nozzles. This is a picture of a typical annular combustion chamber where you can see there is no longer 
individual can. So what we have here is just an annular type combustion chamber. So the main advantages of the annular chamber is that for the same power output, the length of the chamber is 75% of that a turbo annular system of the same diameter, resulting in considerable saving of weight and production cost. Another advantage is elimination of combustion propagation. So it is a problem where combustion propagate from one chamber to another chamber. In comparison with turbo annular combustion system, the wall area of a comparable annular chamber is much less. Consequently, the amount of cooling air required to prevent the burning of the flame tube wall is also less by approximately 50%. And this reduction in cooling air raises the combustion efficiency. So the efficiency increases to virtually eliminate unburned fuel that resulted to less pollution. The introduction of the air spray type fuel nozzle to this type of combustion chamber also greatly improves the preparation of fuel for comb combustion by aerating the overreach pockets of fuel vapor close to the spray nozzle. So this will also result in large reduction in initial carbon formation and eventually increases the efficiency of the engine. And that's all for now. With regard to types of combustion chamber, we will now continue to the next topic, which is combustion chamber performance. Bye-bye for now.